Hi YouTube, Neil here with Facelift Interiors and welcome back to our channel. So in this week's video, we're gonna be showing you how to do channel back seating or fluted back seating. Doesn't have to be seating, it can also be for headboards. All right. So we've previously done videos on how to do flutes and we've always done them on one board, back tacking them, pulling them over. So this way is a different technique and personally I find it a lot easier and a lot cleaner. So the reason this technique is different is because before we always had one board and we had to staple the fabric on, then put cardboard strip, then pull the fabric over really tight and try and keep it clean. This way, every flute's done on a different bit of wood. So you get a much cleaner finish. So this is how to do flutes. 2.0. So as always, if you like upholstery tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Just hit that notification bell so you're notified each time we upload a video. Don't forget to drop us a like if you enjoy the video. Drop us a comment as well. Let us know where you're from. It's lovely hearing from you guys. So without further ado, this is how you do channel backs or fluted backs or even channeled headboards or channeled anything. Action. Right, so this is a fluted back, but this one we're gonna do differently, guys, because before every flute we've had to do, we've had to do on one board. This time we've separated it, so we've got separate boards. So these are our boards. Right, so what we're doing is, uh, this is a fluted back for a seating area. Hopefully you can see here, we've, we've divided this up. But when you're doing a flute like this, and you're doing it on separate boards, you can't just take total length, which is 214 and try and make it as round as possible. So basically I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten different bits of wood, but you don't cut them exactly to size because they're gonna to be too big. So by the time you put your start you've put your flutes on, and by the time you get to the end, you're gonna be hanging over by a centimeter because obviously you've got to allow for fabric and padding. This fabric's quite thick. It's a it's an aqua clean fabric, so it's quite thick. So I've allowed three mil per flute. So if you take the total size, which is 214, divide it by 10, it equals 21.4. So each flute I've had cut at 21.1. That is a three mil allowance per flute. So they all sit nicely and we haven't got an overhang at the end. So obviously you draw your lines on and you need to make sure it sits on the lines. So what we do is we put we put foam on here. So I'm gonna use two inch white because I want it to be quite domed. So I'm gonna use two inch white foam and Dacron. And then I'll show you how we upholster these. So we upholster them just on the sides, leave the ends open because the ends obviously get pulled around and staple underneath. So what, I'm, what I've got here is my pin gun. So it's stapling up into the bottom of the wood to hold it in place. Then you can put some screws in later, which we'll probably do. But for now, we're just gonna use the pin gun to hold it in place. Then you start stapling around the edge because you don't want it to move. You need it to be exactly on those lines. If it's off the lines, then you're all gonna be skew with the rest of the way. Yeah, most of the upholstery is done on the wood. So you'll only staple one side on these end panels because obviously the fabric's got to come round over the top, over the bottom and round the side. So the end panel, we're gonna leave until the last. What I'll do is I'll take you into the other room, we'll glue some foam on, cut some fabric, and then we'll start working our way up. Right, so I'm just cutting some fabric, guys. So I've measured that my width of fabric is 54, and I've measured that if I cut my flutes 13 and a half, which is, is enough, because I've already checked, 13 and a half inches, I'll get four flutes out of each width. And then height of 38, which is enough to get my fabric over the top of the frame. Gonna move that for now. Just marking top, so it's all going the same way. The good thing about these flutes is I can use up all of my excess white foam, all the strips I've got like this. It's awesome, it's awesome. What I'm doing here is gluing both sides, wood and foam. Stick it down, foam knife. I'm just laying this old cloth on because this fabric's quite delicate because it's aqua clean. It's quite um, strong, but also quite delicate at the same time if you catch the corner of it. So, so you can see there that we stuck our Dacron all the way around. We're gonna cut it off flush here. Right, so let's get our fabric. Right, so what I'm gonna do here, guys, so this is tight, this fabric. I've cut it quite tight. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm literally just gonna stick a temporary in there, pull down tight this way, put a temporary in here, 
by temporary i mean a staple that's in at an angle so it's easy to take out and basically you want to make this just all level basically all the way up now we can start upholstering this side so we're using my left hand rolling the fabric over pulling the fabric as tight as it'll go and putting a couple of staples in so now i'm just going to do the same so working the fabric up and round So pulling the fabric down and then and, and over as well at the same time, nice and tight. As tight as it will go, guys. So that's that side done. So now we're going to work up this way. So now you can see it from the other angle. Using my hand to run the fabric up tight and over. So that is one side done. So now we're going to the other side. So we're going to pull this fabric again, as tight as it will go. Staple. Take out the old staples that we use to uh, temp it in place. Right. Flute number two. So I'm just going to cut that excess off, get rid of that. Right, so there's our flute. Let's go and put it on. Here we are, flute number two. Obviously, you've got to make sure the wood is lined up, top and bottom. And then put in a temporary staple in. Well, not temporary, these are permanent. <laughs> Pushing it up as tight as it'll go. One in the middle as well. Now we've got our flute in place, we can now start to staple off the top and bottom. So I pull all my excess up and over using my thumb to hold the fabric down like so. I want to get a nice clean finish here. So what I'm doing is tucking, see that fabric is tucking under quite nicely for me. You can cut out some of the excess if, it's, if it feels too thick, but I think that is okay. So I'm just gonna go. That's that side done. You can see all this here, we're probably not gonna need all that. Oh, we're definitely not gonna need all that. So we're just gonna cut some of it away. You don't want it to be too thick. Get rid of some of the Dacron. And all we wanna do there is finish like that. Nice and tight. So that is the bottom finished. Now we're gonna to go to the top. So, like we did earlier, so we're working our way up towards the end, using our thumb, using our thumb to hold the fabric under, pull it nice and tight. You can pull it all the way down from there if you want. I'll show you this on the other side, what I'm doing. So see here, if we pull that nice and tight, we get a nice finish there on that flute, but there's too much fabric here. And ideally you don't want any lumps and bumps on the top here, so there's a bit of thickness here. I'll have to take that out later, because we only perform high quality. I'm just cutting out. Tearing out some of the Dacron that I'm not gonna need. Getting rid of some of that excess fabric. See now I can get a nice, tight pull and a nice tight finish without too much heaviness underneath fabric so that is another flute done so if you can see what's going on so basically i've been doing each panel so what i had to do is i upholstered all the middles and i've left the two ends so what i'm going to do is just carry on finishing these ends down then i'm going to cut the two end pieces upholster them and then we are going to be good to go right guys so what i've done here is if, you, if i flip this over you can see i've stapled off one side we're doing the end flute now so i'm going to lay that on and i'm going to pin it in place exactly where i want it pushing it up as tight as i can one there same here pushing it up as tight as i can get it 
one in the middle. So now we're going to pull it nice and tight. And then we're going to start working our way along. Pulling it nice and tight. So, again, we pull tight. Staple. You can see there how much we need to cut out. And we're done. 